circle theorem. The angle inscribed in a semicircle is 90 degrees. What is it? This is one of eight theorems related to circles. Why? Circles are cool. Interesting fact. Hippopotamuses give birth in water. Now, before we start with the examples, let's discuss why this is the case. And here we have blah, blah, blah. Now, let's show you why this theorem is true before discussing any of the examples. Right now we have two right triangles formed, one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. All the legs of the right triangles are radii or radiuses. And now let's focus on the triangle on the left hand side. Since the two legs on the right triangle on the left hand side are the same, we have an isosceles triangle. That means the other two angles or base angles are the same. And in this case they are 45 degrees because 45 degrees plus 45 degrees plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's talk about the right triangle on the right hand side. We also have an isosceles triangle because two of the legs are the same. And that means the two base angles or the two other angles are the same. And once again, they are 45 degrees because 45 degrees plus 45 degrees is 90 degrees. Now let's talk about our inscribed angle. And in this case, our inscribed angle is 45 degrees plus 45 degrees, and that is equal to 90 degrees. Now you may be wondering, does it matter where our inscribed angle is? No, it doesn't, as long as the hypotenuse is the diameter. So let's go ahead and move that inscribed angle to the right. Our inscribed angle is still 90 degrees, but the two angles that formed it have changed to 22.5 degrees and 67.5 degrees. When we add those two up, the result is still 90 degrees. Let's move our inscribed angle to the left-hand side. Our inscribed angle is still 90 degrees. The two angles that form it have just flip-flopped from the previous one. Now let's move it again. The inscribed angle is still 90 degrees, and the two angles that form it are 60 degrees and 30 degrees because the result of that is 90 degrees. Let's move it again. Our inscribed angle is still 90 degrees because the two angles that form it are 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Just flip-flop from the previous one. Now let's move our inscribed angle back to the original spot. It doesn't matter where the inscribed angle is, as long as the longest line is the diameter, and that means the longest line is the hypotenuse, which means the inscribed angle is 90 degrees. Now let's take a look at the examples that we'll be discussing in today's video. And now let's take a closer look at example one. Now let's read the steps. Step one, write down the facts. Step two, set up the equation. Step three, follow order of operations. Now let's read the question. Find the size of each lettered angle. Now let's take a look at the image that they gave us. They gave us three measurements, 55 degrees, X, and Y. Now let's write down some facts to help us solve for the missing variables or angles. And fact one is X plus Y plus 55 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, and that is for the purple triangle, triangle ABC. Now let's write down fact two, and fact two is Y is equal to 90 degrees, and that is because the longest side is the diameter, which means it is the hypotenuse, which means angle ABC is 90 degrees, and that is our first answer. Now, in the future, you might have more facts or fewer facts to find the missing angles, but as long as you write down the facts, it'll be easier to find the missing angles. Let's continue with fact one, and that is once again, X plus Y plus 55 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. We now know Y is 90 degrees. Let's substitute 90 degrees for Y. And now we have X plus 90 degrees plus 55 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's add 90 degrees and 50 to 5 degrees, and the result of that is 145 degrees. Now we have X plus 145 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. We need to solve for X, so we need to do an inverse operation. Since we have plus 145 degrees, we need to do minus 145 degrees on the left-hand side. Those numbers cancel. Since we did it on the left-hand side, we now need to do it on the right-hand side, and 180 degrees minus 145 degrees is 35 degrees. And that is example one. Now let's take a look at example two. Now let's read the question. Find the size of each lettered angle. 
Now let's take a look at the image that they gave us. They gave us three measurements, y, 40 degrees, and x. Let's write down some facts to help us solve for the missing variables or angles. And fact one is triangle ADC is an isosceles triangle. How do we know triangle ADC is isosceles? Well, we know that segment AD and segment DC are the radii or radiuses. So since two of them are the same, it is an isosceles triangle. And now we can find the other missing angle, angle DAC. And we can say that is the other base angle. So angle DAC is equal to angle ACD. Now let's go ahead and write down our second fact. And that is triangle ABC is a right triangle. And that is because the longest side is the diameter, which means that it is the hypotenuse, which means angle BAC is 90 degrees. Once again, you might have more facts or fewer facts to find the missing angles or variables, but as long as you write down the facts, it will be easier to find the missing angles or variables. Let's go back to fact one, where triangle ADC is an isosceles triangle. Now we can add all those angles and set it equal to 180 degrees. So we can say X plus X plus 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And now let's combine some like terms, the two X's and x plus x is 2x, and now we have 2x plus 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now we need to do some inverse steps so we can get x by itself, and the first one that we need to do is subtract 40 degrees from the left-hand side since we have plus 40 degrees. Those two numbers cancel. Since we did it on the left-hand side, we now need to do it on the right-hand side, and 180 degrees minus 40 degrees is 140 degrees. And now we have two times X is equal to 140 degrees. We need to do the inverse of that. So we need to divide the left side by two and two divided by two is equal to one. So those numbers cancel. Now we need to do it to the right hand side and 140 degrees divided by two is 70 degrees. So now we know X is equal to 70 degrees. We found our first answer. And now we're gonna go back to fact two where we know triangle ABC is a right triangle. Now we're gonna solve for Y. There's more than one way to do it. We're gonna do it one way. And if you know another, go ahead and post it in the comments below. Now we're gonna talk about the inscribed angle and we know that it is 90 degrees. And we know one part is 70 degrees or angle X or angle DAC. And now we need to find the other part or angle BAD. So now we have angle BAD plus angle DAC is equal to 90 degrees. We know angle DAC is 70 degrees or X. Now we have angle BAD plus 70 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. And now we just offer angle BAD by taking the inverse of plus 70 degrees and that is minus 70 degrees and 70 degrees minus 70 degrees is zero. So those numbers cancel since we did it on the left hand side we now need to do it on the right hand side and 90 degrees minus 70 degrees gives us 20 degrees. So now we know angle BAD is equal to 20 degrees. And now we're gonna go ahead and solve for the variable Y. And once again, there's another way of doing it. If you know how, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Now we can say because triangle BAD is an isosceles triangle that angle Y and the angle we just found is 20 degrees because they're opposite the radii or radiuses. And now we have found angle X, 70 degrees, and angle Y, 20 degrees for example two. Let's move on to example three. Let's read the question on the size of each lettered angle. Let's take a look at the image that they gave us. They gave us two measurements, X and two X. Let's write down some facts to help us solve for the missing variables or angles. And fact one is X plus 2X plus angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees. We know that's a fact because we have a triangle, triangle ABC. Now let's take a look at fact two, where we have triangle ACB is a right triangle. And why do we know that's a fact? Well, the longest side is the diameter, which means it's the hypotenuse. And since we have a hypotenuse, we have a right triangle. And remember, you might have more facts or fewer facts to find the missing angles or variables, but as long as you write down the facts, it will be easier to find the missing angles or variables. Now let's go back to fact one, 
and we have, once again, x plus 2x plus angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees. Well, we know angle ABC is 90 degrees because of fact 2. So let's go ahead and substitute 90 degrees for angle ABC. And now we have x plus 2x plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and combine like terms. We're going to combine x plus 2x, and that gives us 3x. So now we have 3x plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now we need to do some inverse steps since we're solving for x. And since we have plus 90 degrees, we need to do the inverse of that, and that is minus 90 degrees. And those two numbers cancel. Since we did it to the left-hand side, we now need to do it to the right-hand side. And now we have 180 degrees minus 90 degrees, and the result of that is 90 degrees. And now we have 3x, or 3 times x, is equal to 90 degrees. And the inverse of times is divide. So we're going to divide the left-hand side by 3, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So they cancel. Since we did it to the left-hand side, we now need to do it to the right-hand side. And 90 degrees divided by 3 is 30 degrees. So x is equal to 30 degrees. We have our x. We substituted for angle C. Now let's substitute for angle A. And that is 60 degrees because 2 times 30 degrees is 60 degrees. And there is example 3. Now it is your turn to so go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer the question. And I will show you the results in 3, 2, and 1. If you got them correct, well done. If not, there's always tomorrow.